banished from Earth Classic Game Room broadcasts from the Intergalactic Space Arcade on its never-ending mission to review everything. Welcome to Classic Game Room for a really exciting review today. This is Super Ladoc for the MSX computer. When this game was new, it sold for 6,800 yen. Pretty sure it doesn't sell for that today. All the way from 1987, it's Super Ladoc. For the MSX computer, a little-known vertical scrolling spaceship shooter, and a very interesting one. Let's take a look. The first thing you'll notice is that big MSX sound. The music is great. I'm playing this with the ASCII Stick X Turbo and the Sony HBF12 MSX, to which is a nice choice because of that speed controller. I'll show you why later. When starting a new game, you'll enter names for Player 1 and Player 2. We'll go with Truxton and Zaxxon, because why not? Even though I'm only playing a one-player game, it requires two names, and then we're off to fight the future in Super Ladoc, which is insanely hard, by the way. The first level isn't too bad, but by Mission 7, this will have you in tears, unless you have that speed controller slider. But first, let's check out the gameplay, which reminds me a lot of Xevious, with a leveling up system and extra weapons. Look at that concentration, look at that concentration, and the Framemeister! Actually, one of Super Ladoc's most interesting features is that when you play with two players, you can combine your ships and get a whole bunch of additional special weapons. And you don't even need two controllers because the second player can play with the keyboard. Now, I wasn't able to really get into the two-player mode with just one person. But it looks like a better way to survive this game. In single-player mode, at some point, by about Mission 7, it just starts moving faster than my brain can comprehend. As you play through Super Ladoc, you level up your spaceship and unlock new weapons. Now, there's also a code where you can just unlock all the weapons, the most useful of which is the Condor homing missile. that sadly doesn't always lock onto the target that you want it to. You choose your special weapon before each of the missions, so some familiarity with them is useful so you know whether or not to choose a bombing special weapon or an air target weapon. So, does this scene look familiar to anyone? It's like we just flew down a trench and shot missiles into a vent or something. Hmm. The force is strong with this game. I call this the classic game room move of intergalactic cowardice. And it works fairly well. Until the next level when I die every time. That's right, Mission 7. This is where Super Ladoc separates the boys from the telepathic mutant dolphins trained to play video games. You won't have much time to admire the backgrounds or the cool enemy designs because you'll be too busy dying. You know what's better than multiple enemy bases that hide under cover and shoot at you periodically? Multiple enemy bases that hide under cover and shoot at you periodically while a volcano erupts in your face. It's time for the Super Ladoc Super Move of Classic Game Room Incompetence. That's right, I did what any sane person reviewing Super Ladoc would do in this situation, I cheated. Otherwise, I would have never been able to show you any of the other levels. 
no amount of practice, none of the other special weapons, nothing was going to get me through that boss battle except slow motion, which happens to work really well on the MSX. It's like a handy pick-me-up right when you need it. Just reach for the slider and your problems are mostly solved. It's still pretty tough though. This is a game for those of you who love good old school, incredibly, insanely hard spaceship shooters. I like the color, I like the style. It, it, it is frustrating when you get blown up or when you lose, it backs you up a level. but at the same time, that also helps you practice levels. This is a cool game for those of you really into this stuff, and I've got a big classic game room shout out and thank you going to Ahmed from Springfield Gardens once again in New York. Thank you for sending Super Ladoc and the sweet MSX to this show. And I still managed to back into enemy fire. Way to go, Mark. The only way I'll save the future is if the future is in slow motion. Alright, if you're gonna buy the game anyway, buy it through ClassicGameRoom.com Welcome to the club, it's the Lord Carnage Club where I thank these backers on Patreon by shouting their name in a volcano from Within the Zone of Danger! Jeff Breyer Jeff Breyer Derek Langley Derek Langley Michael and Ariana Nelson Michael and Ariana Nelson Michael Fernandez Those not named Michael Fernandez aren't Michael Fernandez Steven Chucknick Steven Chucknick Al Stiver Al Stiver Rick DeBarros Rick DeBarros Jason Gore. Sergio Matthias Hergert. <laughs> Chip Sink Bell. Chip Sink Bell. Busy Signal. Still busy. Sean Zoltek. Sean Zoltek. Philip Straubenmuller. Phil does the dance of safety in the zone of danger. Jack Stavris. Jack Stavris. Ohad Kane. Oh, 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 oh,